Archie never exists. Mag ate heart out. Palace flatly cancels fake birth certificate on coronation day. King Charles III will be coronated next year, and Buckingham Palace has released all the details on the ceremony. One thing they did note, however, was that the historic event falls on the birthday of one of the monarch's grandchildren. As written in the fake certificate, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, the son of Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan, was born on May 6, 2019. The monarch's coronation will be held on May 6, 2023, the day Archie will turn four. Now, they are no longer working royals. It is unclear if Harry and Meghan will attend the event in support of the king. It is also unclear how the date for King Charles' coronation was chosen, but it will come eight months after the death of the queen. King Charles' coronation also stirred up the public. Royal expert Angela Levin commented that it was doubtful that Harry and Meghan would be invited to the king's coronation next year, shortly after it was announced that it would be held on the same day as Archie's fourth birthday. Harry's memoirs and Meghan's podcasts might make all the difference, she said. Levin is not the only one, as another royal commentator, Jonathan Sacerdoti, had voiced the same opinion just over a week ago. To attend your father's coronation is very obviously a royal thing, and it depends if that is something they want to take part in, bearing in mind they left because those were the things they seemed they wanted to avoid, the ceremonies and difficulties of existing as a visible public royal. Many noted that the palace had apprehensions over Harry's tell-all memoir, which some suspect is not very complimentary to Queen Consort Camilla. This may explain why Harry is keen to delay the publication of his book. He may not have a choice though, as tens of millions of pounds have already gone through for a purported three-volume deal. It had originally been slated for release by November, or the end of the year. Prince Harry reportedly received $60 million in an agreement with publishers, Penguin Random House, to spill on his relationship with the royal family. But Brown, who is the author of The Palace Papers and the Diana Chronicles, says it's impossible for him to move forward in light of recent events. They are now in this bind where they've taken all this money and Harry has made this book deal where he's supposed to spill everything about his horrible life as a royal, but now he's actually tortured about it because he understands there's no way back if he does it. If the book continues, I don't think there's any way for Harry to return, so my view has always been that the book won't see the light of day. The window is beginning to close, but I always thought at some point a deal would be made and Charles would have to pay back the advance to stop Harry writing his book. Prince Harry has reportedly asked the publishing house if he can make changes to the book, with suggestions he's attempting to tone down criticisms of his family. When Meghan's podcast returned to Spotify last week after a five-week pause, all references to the royal family and her time in it had been removed. It marked a change from the previous three episodes of Archetypes, which included anecdotes and criticisms from the Duchess of Sussex, of course, about her experiences in the monarchy.